Hey everyone, Wannabot here and welcome to the Sulphur Demo. It's an immersive sim, but set in kind of like a fantasy cave system. I, I think? At least that's what I got from the Steam page. It's one of those where I saw a bit of a gameplay clip from it a long time ago and thought like, oh man, this looks sick. I can't wait to try it. And then I've just closed myself off from looking at it further because I don't want spoilers. Okay, so maybe not full fantasy. Oh. Were we chasing a witch in our car? I have no idea what's going on. I love it when I'm wrong. Just hopelessly wrong. Well, I think there's the cave system. It does seem like we're hunting the witch creature. Which... Set whatever that is on fire. Maybe our home? But yeah, we got just like a regular, totally normal car. This is the end ending to Pacific Drive that no one expected. Witch hunting. Before you say anything, I know you don't remember, just listen. Look behind you, right? That fireball you just saw into the cave? That's the witch that burned down your church and everyone in it. I'm ready for one of the four obvious questions now. Who am I? You're the priest, Padre, and patron of that there burning establishment behind you. You might not remember, but it was a vengeful rage that had you end up in that tree. Who are you? I'm your conscience, the angel on your left shoulder, or a hallucination. Whichever fits to make you focus at the task at hand, it's important to us both. The only thing you need to know is that we've been friends for a long time. Where am I? You're standing outside of a cave, the cave that leads to a portal, that in turn takes you to a dimensional state called Sulphur. It's sort of a waiting room for the true afterlife. I'm sure you'd have another name for that concept, with your profession and all, but you'd be surprised as to its nature. Where am I going? The most important question. You're going to follow that goddamn witch in there. There are places of pure natural energy that she will want to visit. We can only match her strength if we, too, utilize them. If you... Oh, you might have noticed that death and time isn't ex isn't really rigid, as most, as most expect. There's ways to undo all of this. I will help you. I heard everything I need to hear to motivate me. Leave. I love this visual style. It's kind of low poly adjacent. Well, no, it is absolutely low poly, but it's rather than having more of a pixels texture, it's it's kind of. Uh, I'm just gonna send that off. I don't know if I can actually do anything with these yet. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing some level of like physics manipulation later, but I don't know how to do so. So I guess I'm just going to look around, mining carts, nothing there. But yeah, I adore weird art styles. Ones that you'd never see in another game. Wakasaji, F to charge it, F to attack. Oh, why is it F? That's... Oh, okay, good. Side button on my mouse also works. That's an odd choice for a control. Unless it's meant to be used with control scheme stuff. Oh, interesting. Not all of this is 3D. That is a 2D bucket. And if you look down on it, it looks up at you judgingly. <laughs> I don't know. Something about that bucket is just oddly sassy to me. Okay, so we can brew stuff if we wanted to. But I don't know what I could brew anyway. Uh, let's see. Spears? You know, I'm honestly kind of shocked I can't grab a spear. Like... I I understand katanas are cool, but spears are practical and useful. What is going on over there? It looks like a body with, like, a dude just holding on to it? It's confusing. Oh. So this is why the katana is the F button instead. Ah, there it is. Bring me closer to it so I can absorb some of its primordial essence. You don't need to use it to teleport home right now, as that would be a bit of a waste. It's what? How do I put this? Blood of the mother. Pure essence. It's extremely difficult to tame and need to be used incredibly in intently to yield any wanted results. It's going to come in very handy as I know how to wield it. Why do we need it? For one, I can use it to take us back to safety once I've charged myself with its powers. You know, in case things get hairy. Or it would be ad advantageous to regroup. 
Once used up, the power would need to be refilled in one of these shrines. And for a second? For a second, it'll allow us to banish the witch's curse up to the point where the shrine leaves, leads us, letting us access new areas as well as eventually paving the way to redemption for your people. The road out of sulfur is long, but it's even longer if there's a mountain of evil slime in the way. Is there a third use for this, or...? Glad you asked. There's a teeny-weeny aspect of being able to turn back time and taking you and your churchgoers back to the land of the living, like this never happened, and getting your revenge. I'd say that would be the ultimate goal, wouldn't you? We just need to find a multitude of shrines for me to make that happen. Right, but I need to ask you... Why do we need it? Okay. So we've already done that. Another question. Where's the witch? You saw how fast she was flying, right? She's probably well on well on her way, here way, to the second one at this point. No matter, we'll catch up. Don't worry. If you say so. This is so sick. Like, just the aesthetic, the... The various design choices being shown here. Okay, T to bring out the amulet. I'm filled to the brim. Could take us home if you please. No. Oh, my gun has a rank. So does it get stronger over time then? Or do I improve it? It levels up. Okay, so the one immediate problem is... I do have some ammo. Okay, that was also a lot of my health. Okay, so I gotta be a little bit careful. These suckers... Can and will hurt. They look very happy about being here. Alright, throwing knife. Plus one. I'm assuming it's a consumable. Okay. Small ultra lightweight knives designed for throwing. Has a loop at the end for easy storage in a belt. The music is fantastic already. It's kind of quiet. Oh, stick. Uh, it's kind of quiet, which... Oh, I can actually grab these. It being quiet isn't that big of a deal. It's just one of those where I'd actually really like to be able to um, turn the sound effects down a smidge. False self cap. Okay, so go for the mushrooms if we see them. Can I, like, chop these guys up? Oh. Well, I can speed their giblets along. I was kind of hoping I could actually do something with them. You know, goblin teeth or whatnot. Okay, what's the point where you start sinking into the ground just naturally? There it goes. I don't know why I felt the need to do that, but, like, I am wounded because of them, so I suppose it's their fault or something. Okay, do we have anything else? No. I wonder if this is all level-based, then. Yeah, so 1 through 7. 7 will have our next door for us. I'm assuming if I go back, I get to heal up, but I have to retry from the very start. There we go. What are my chances of making that? Can I sprint? Tally ho! Nope. Okay, we're good, but that hurt really bad. Dang it, it's got something cool over there, too. Is that a weird child? Okay, it looks like it was a bear or something. Okay, and I can break these. I have no idea how to heal. Though I seem to have healed a little bit. I wonder if it's one of those where you heal up to a, a minimum level. Whatever the minimum is. Yeah, it's like a weird creepy goblin baby. 
Okay, good. And you don't waste the clip reloading. That is appreciated. Okay, we've got the exit there. I'm just looking for anything that could possibly heal me or benefit me in any way, shape, or form. But it seems like this is pretty linear. Oh. Okay, so you can go underwater. And there's actually stuff down there. At least some degree of stuff. Come on, dude. Stick grenade. Okay, is there anything of meaning meaningful note down here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, rod sop. Road sop? Not sure. Dead archer. Interesting. Not sure why. Let's just go down. Unfortunately, I am still injured, and that's going to take... I, I have no idea how to actually heal up here. We can kind of check this. Gives one health over one second. Reduces health. Three health over three seconds. And yeah, what I'd like to do is maybe find another pot and see if I can do some alchemy. I think I had the opportunity to do so earlier, but whiffed it. Okay, they're dead. Ah. Didn't quite load it up that fast. Well, that sucks. What happens now? Because, yeah, I could have also gone back. That's one of the... There you are. <laughs> Seeing you pop out of there never gets old. Thank heck at that amulet you got giving you extra chances or we'll be stuck here forever. No offense, of course. Hope you stash some of your stuff this time. Oh, and check the collection post box. Is there a way to accept shrines to refill the amulet? Sure, there are several ways. Charges can be found and bought as well as refilled at shrines. And also be partially refilled, so beware that you might have a bit of juice in there at certain points, but not enough to teleport. Another question? Okay. Who am I? <laughs> I guess I'll humor you again. You're the person who took care of us all. Well, the one... The ones that have made it back here since crossing over. We're extremely grateful for your patronage, both then and here now in whatever you would call this bullshit afterlife. Who are you? I'm only known as the Gravedigger. Interestingly enough, I was a mute back in the real world. I did what my name suggests and kept my mouth shut. <laughs> kind of missing those silent days as people actually expect me to answer their dumb questions now. Anything else? Where am I? This here is the uh, this here church is called the Original Sin, as a reminder that we're all sinners. There was always open to anyone, regardless of their past. Hence why the majority of us here seem to be, well, let's call it innocence impaired. <laughs> the humble saloon swing doors symbolize this. Anyone is welcome here. Noble idea, of course. Lord knows we're all better for it. Shame it was also this idea that doomed us. <laughs> what do you mean doomed us? Well, our open-door policy seemed to have attracted some unwanted attention from a particularly evil witch who infiltrated and pretty much killed all of us, except for you. But hey, you're here now anyway, which is nice. Place wouldn't be the same without you. Anything else? All right, what about this dark matter with eyes? We've been cursed to stay here. One could say being in Sulphur is a curse within itself. But these evil barriers are stopping us from going anywhere or doing anything about it. We're all hoping to move on to the next life at some point. Anything else? Other question. What can I do here? You can repair your stuff at Ralphie's outside the church. Brilliant mechanic, that one. You can store items, money, ammo, and stash chests. They're all linked up. If the others weren't lost somewhere out there, there'd be plenty more to do. Items to buy, etc. You can also go back to any area you've previously been. Just follow the paths. The hell are you smoking? <sighs> Pure sulfur. It's a nasty habit, but let me tell you. It's a hell of a lot easier to come by in a place named after it, that's for sure. Hot commodity, but also not very cheap. <laughs> okay, anything else? No. 
I love this game. It's kind of messy. Sup, father? Need me to take a look at that piece? I'm not even going to try it anymore. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh. Why do my guns break so quickly? More stuff to add to any device, the more stuff can break. Chamber chiseling, enchanting, oiling, or adding attachments makes guns break more easily. Oh. So I'm actually going to have to worry about repairs then. I think its current version doesn't break, but maybe later it will. Uh, let's see. Nope. Perfect condition. So it does actually break over time. Same thing with father's shirt. Okay. You're unsettling. All right. What else do we have? Anything here? Cash money to ease my suffering. Cool. Can she sell anything? So we can actually get improvised barrel, silent firing, but this messes with the spread. Actually, this might make it more accurate. So pneumatic, flesh parts, spring coils, laser sight, accuracy when moving. So keeping that in mind. I don't have much, though. So... If her to get something, it would be an attachment. We don't have that. All right. Anything inside the church? Oh. Welcome. Uh, welcome to Stiff Legs. What can I do for you, Padre? I got some something for me or here to browse the new hall? Sure am. Okay, so it sells guns, spring coil boots, more things, ammo boxes, 12 gauge though. We need like 9 millimeter, so I might actually just buy some ammo so I can go kind of nuts. We do also have like sodas, grenades, repair kits, porridge. The porridge actually is kind of tempting too. 12 health over 4 seconds. I'm going to buy the ammo box. I don't know if that's exactly the right play here, but maybe it doesn't matter. And this is the storage chest that I did not find and did not invest into. Okay, so now that we had that one kind of bad loss, let's let's dive in here. And let's do this right this time. A little bit more careful, a little bit slower. I mean, there's not much I can do, really, apart from just hope for the best. I wonder how procedurally generated this is. I'm assuming very, yep, oh, it 100% is. I have not seen this layout before. We have these here. They can jump. I was hoping I could get a height advantage. And I suppose I can. Okay, there's another one. Okay. There we go. Nope. Ah, that hurts. I don't actually know if it hurts more or less. Where'd he go? Is he in here? I hear a dude, but I don't see a dude. Oh, some pine nuts. Whoa. Nope, not again. Dang. This environment is uh, brutal for me. We get some goblin flesh. Oh, so that is the thing I can grab. Uh, Maybe do something with. All right, I'm going to eat the pine nuts. Oh, that is barely any health. I've already squandered like most of my resources. There's another one. Okay, so we got some false self caps. Rats up. Okay, we're kind of good. There we go. Probably wasteful. Are there more? How big are these caves? Egg. You know, I was expecting it would be kind of small like it was previously, but this is massive, actually. Whoop. 
Ah, it's an explosive barrel. I thought it was leaking something. Well then, it's fine. Let's check the mailbox, see if we get some more money. Uh, bleh. Thirty-one cash to ease my suffering. Well, that's not great. It's probably based on my distance. Okay, so can we just get black pepper? Oh, the ammo box is too expensive, and I probably don't have any more money. What? Oh, the money's here. Okay, so now I've got thirty-one. Unfortunately for me... Yeah, there's not much I can buy with that. I guess I'll get some porridge. Call that good enough. I'll just have to make do without as much ammo. Hopefully I'm not going to be as wasteful this time around, but you never know. Luckily we get exactly 60 bullets every time we revive. And who knows, I might be a little bit more effective. Oh, there is... There's iron sights aiming. Okay. Yeah, so... Get kind of a comfortable hidey spot. Slightly away from enemies. That's actually not so bad. So I see an explosive barrel up there, but I don't think that helps me too much. Okay, let's just grab a bunch of these. I don't know what we have in this immediate area. I don't know what happens if I go down there. So I'll leave that for later. We're just gonna be careful. Okay, here are more Gavins. Snag all of them. There we go. Think I got it. All right. So there's a couple more mushrooms there. Oh, I think we want to go down. I don't think there's anywhere else where I'd... Anywhere else for me to go. Oop. Oop. Okay. Snail? Snail! And nothing. Oh, there's a, there is a sneak button. I'm trying to see if I can... Sp Bought any more goblins? I have no idea if I need to be worried about that. You hear wolves, and it's like, is there a timer? Is there something that is actually going to slow? Uh, to show up to mess me up if I'm too slow. It's not the first time that's ever happened in a game to me. It's not something I like. I, f I find, I mean, especially for a game where you're supposed to be careful and considerate and slow. Uh, a, like, any kind of mechanic that would specifically say, like, hey, you need to, uh, you need to go faster kind of is rough. I'm thinking Barony specifically. That That is an absolutely lovely game, and I'm very happy to be able to turn off that Minotaur. Okay, I see, like, a little bit more if I can get up here. I don't actually know if these barrels always have something in them. Obviously, that one didn't, but I'm going to probably keep checking just in case. All right, so that was the first level without taking damage. Is my amulet charged, or do I have to reach seven now? It is charged, so I could go home if I want to. Let's wait until I'm grievously wounded enough that I need to. So it looks like I get effectively one uh, one escape at the beginning of a run, unless... Unless that escape goes away. 
if I like if I use it, will it recharge at the beginning of a run? I'm not actually actually so sure. I did these guys have anything? Beds, clearly. Rubber boots. Rubber boots, sorry. Exactly one. Okay, so I get to be the bootless lad. I guess it was already the bootless lad. What? Did I delete a bed? Oh no, it was debris from the, the barrels. Okay, let's see if I can spot... I don't know what that sound was. I did not like it. The ambient music is, um... I think it was that guy. He might have been hanging out in the water. Well, at least he had ammo for me. Now, I found a dynamite, but that was the previous one. Snails really mess you up. Cripes. All right. I found a dynamite, but that was my previous run, so I can't do anything with it here. I wonder if I can pick up an explosive barrel and move it. Let's see if there's anything else here. Anything with these? No. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to assume I can't get in there. If we get lucky, we find another piece of dynamite. I'll blow it up and we'll see what see what I can get out of it. But right now, it's probably not worth investing my time into. Okay, got him. Yeah, I don't know if headshots really matter in this game. Like, I'm hearing all sorts of noises that I'm not comfortable hearing. Okay, I hear another goblin. Unless it's below me, it's probably in here. There we go. Give me some cash. Reload. There's an archer there. But the archers are kind of bad at aiming. Their shots are not nearly as effective as my own. Okay, and I think we're good. We get some bottled water, too. Nice. Yeah. Being careful. Attention to detail. Listening. Whoop. At least I didn't take any fall damage from that. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else? The fact that the goblin corpses rotate to look at you is unsettling as heck. All right. So I got a gun crank. All right, let's get over here. I don't actually know if Velvet Bells are really useful for much. But while I have inventory space, I might as well snag as much as I can. Because I want to do some alchemy here and see if I can get something cool. Okay, question. It has ropes, and I was wondering if that would... Like, if you could cut the bridge. I heard another goblin. I've shot the goblin. I don't see him. It's, yeah, it's just dark enough over there. Ugh. Interesting. He might have specifically run back here.
Okay, do we have anything else? No, but we do get an eye patch for our troubles. We take those here. Not seeing too much else. Okay, let's check out this room before I do anything. How's my inventory looking? What, what's the eye patch do? Charm resistance. Crit chance down sight. Sounds good. Gun crank. We also have the Catacoil Rapid X. Assault rifle uses energy cells. I'm like 99% certain I can't really use that kind of thing yet. Possibly not anytime soon. That's okay. I do really wish I could pick up some of the physics objects and move them around. You know, chuck a brick at an enemy if I'm really low. Okay, there is something over there. This might hurt, but it's worth it. Scroll of Plague. Um, well, that's... That's not the most kosher of things. Ooh, boy, these infinite dark pits are uh, making me freeze up in a really bad way. How huge are these levels? I haven't heard a grabbing yet. All right, there we go. We never, never did find any dynamite. Found a rock. But that ain't it. Okay, there is a... There's a treasure chest. Yeah, I think I can make it if I time my jump. Well. Hey, what else do we have around here? Oh, we do have another treasure chest. A stick grenade. Sick. There we go. I'll have to actually remember to use these. Instead of just die dying with a pistol in my hand. I could have gone all the way back for that. No, 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 I couldn't have. I think I'd already gone down. But since I have grenades, I might actually be able to blow up, uh... I might be able to blow up walls. Pistols ranked up. I wonder if that's permanent. Like if... I don't know what that was. Like, if, uh, I will... Ooh, Jar of Poison. Where did that go? Oh, it's here. Throwable. Bullets apply poison. Yeah, I'll go for a plagued pistol. Ugh. Yeah, I don't see anything down there. Good. Got some bread. And nothing in here. I see ya. Ow. Okay, I think there's some bread in that water. Okay, 12 health over two and a half seconds. Sounds good to me. And there might be others, but there is there is always more bread. Okay, I'm not hearing any other lads. I am. Okay, nobody's coming from this direction, which is a blessing. I don't want to have to deal with groups on both sides. It's going to happen. But maybe not. Not here, not today. There's no reason for me to preserve any of these. Balaclava. I don't like the sound of that. Let's just eat the bread. Move a mushroom, pick up the balaclava. Automatic weapon damage? Nah, it's not that good. And yeah, if I can, if I can find a, 
cauldron. We can actually do some stuff with it at this point, maybe. Okay. We actually have to find one. Ladder. I'm being as careful as can be. Hard hat. There we go. What's the hard hat do? Armor and explosion resistance. I think I'm fine with the eye patch for now. There we go. Diving fin. Right out. Yeah, I'm just going to keep dropping the velvet bell. I guess the velvet bells are kind of good. You can eat those. So what's the diving? Uh, well, I guess I'll put that on. And we've, we've got a lot of velvet bells. So if we get to the point where I'm actually starting to take some damage, I can just quaff it. Not endless mushroom, but a considerable amount of mushrooms. And maybe kind of get back up. Okay, nobody in here currently. Let's check this side first. Okay. Yeah, the poison is okay. I think I like the idea of it more than the actual execution. My big beef mostly boils down to... I don't see a chest over there. Um, let's see. Out of here, yeah. My big beef mostly boils down to the idea of I can... Well, I need to kill enemies faster than the poison will take him down. So at best, it gets me like an extra tick. On the flip side is, I don't have anything better to invest into. And so... Why not? I think headshots do actually matter here. There's two archers. There we go. Ammo is weirdly plentiful. I was expecting there to be less. Okay, you. Got him. He dropped a shoe for me. All right, let's um eat a couple of these. Can I grab the sneaker? I can. There's also bread. Oop, hold up. There's a grabo. Yeah, sometimes that poison takes them early. Sometimes not so much so. So we got a rock, nothing else. This level's weirdly huge, movement speed. We're not really using the flipper that much. Because there's not really, I mean, as of yet, there hasn't been much of, much cause to go into the water. Green tunic. Okay, screw it. I'm just going to eat a bunch of these. I want to do an amount of alchemy. Okay, so this is probably six. Armor charisma. Armor perfect condition. Cool. I think we can just leave behind the father's shirt. The, I guess the worst possible thing that could happen is we respawn shirtless. That could suck a bit. Okay, let's go back for a smidge. Because there's a whole other chamber that we just didn't go through. And I think it's... Yeah, here we go. I think it's worth investigating for a single potato. Okay, so the false self caps are probably bad. Well, they're probably great if you do an alchemy. They're probably terrible if you don't. This is really cool. 
it's roguelike dungeon roguelite dungeon crawling with some level of progression systems though i haven't sussed them all out yet um kind of reminds me of slasher's keep but more substantiated slasher's keep was really fun but kind of basic this feels like mechanically refined and with the the depth and breadth whoop got him with some poison i was really hoping i could get his gun though it seemed like he had a long rifle of sorts oh blessed be we can do an alchemy. I don't know what these are going to do. Okay, so I guess it has to high light up if I can cook it. Right? No. Interesting. So we might not be able to do any alchemy until we find a recipe or something. Okay, so I can just right-click to move things over. That's That sucks a smidge. Because to some degree... To some degree, what's the point of holding on to any of these? Well, I guess we might as well just put them in here. Uh, let's see. What's the point of holding on to any of this stuff if I can't use it yet? Hopefully we learn recipes later. I was hoping I could just guess and lear learn it through trial and error, but I guess that, yeah... I guess that might be too easy. M maybe. Okay, I see the exit chamber. I guess that dude... There's a rock that fell. Or uh, one of the stone blocks. I guess that dude finished off most of the... Um, the goblins on this side of the cavern. So... I guess there's not much for me to worry about. Molotov cocktail. Hell yeah. Whee! It's freaking music too, man. Like, it's so chill in the best kind of way. Okay, we're just going to back up for a second. Because the archer is having some issues. This is where the poison's helpful. We've ranked up again. I'm hoping I can get to keep this gun. It's kind of like the one bit of meta progression. It'd be a little sad if it resets to zero. But on the flip side, we can just kind of leave whenever we want. So... Even if it potentially resets, there is the possibility that I'll be able to... Well, okay. As long as I'm careful, I might be able to uh, keep it for a good long while. Okay. I think I... Oh, where the hell were you? Okay. I think that was all of them. Yeah, I popped a couple shots into the spear guy before he made it into this chamber. Okay. Turns out you really can just blast him pretty quick if you're if you got a full clip and a safe spot to do so. 
Big problem. Big problem if you miss. That can stink you up. Do I see anything over there? No. You always got to check. But they rarely force you to jump over big bits. For stuff. This one seems a little bit more likely to have goodies in it. Maybe. Nope. This is officially goodie-less. Unless there's something I'm really missing. I think we've seen the most of it. That's not an explosive barrel. Another rubber boot. I wonder if this actually gets more accurate over time. This is where the poison actually does come in handy. Because I can plink off a bunch of shots really fast. Whoop! That must have been a bomb. That's the only way I can explain it. That sucks! But on the flip side, we get to learn a couple of things. One, we are back to square one. So gun is back to rank zero and our clothing is back to normal. We don't have to worry about the condition. When you die, it resets, which is good. Kind of. It'd be pretty sad if you reset and your gun is broken. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there. I adore this game, but I do not want to play any more until it's further along because it would be kind of a shame to put in all of this work and then have it get reset when the game actually comes out. That said, if you want to play the Sulphur demo yourself, it is available now on Steam, just in demo form. Hello, oh. dude. Greetings, father. Want to mix the magics? Uh, some oils instead? Okay. So these are enchantments. So extra crit chance, extra projectile amounts, bigger bullets, more bullet drop, more damage, and enchanted with fire. Yeah, so it actually seems like there's quite a lot to be done with this game, like the enchantments and meta progression and whatnot. I think the big issue is you have to be very very careful and you have to know exactly what those tells are. I heard the clock, but I did not see what it could possibly be about. So I thought it was maybe something in the next room, but clearly I'd stepped on a trip mine, landmines, question mark, question mark, question mark. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, so yeah, if you want to play the demo yourselves, just follow the link in the description below. And otherwise, of course, if you like this video in any way, shape or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games, just hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off every single day. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.